the advances in the international communication technology has helped strengthen our movement, both inside and outside the country, while we also see that also raise more risk for us within inside and outside the country. I mean, I think it's like, it's definitely is a plus because because of the, those technology, we were able to communicate inside, the outside, inside and outside the country, even though we know the phone will be tapped, even though we know the, 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 the emails will be monitored and even you know, hacked, but there is a, a way for us to, uh, uh, to uh, speed up with our communication within and outside the, inside and outside the country. And therefore you see, for example, in 2007, because of the, the, the internet cafes, because of the internet availability in the country, people were able to, you know, just ordinary citizens really, many of them are just citizen journalists without even have a, having a proper training or anything, but they just, you know, take the pictures of all these crackdown on the monks and, and students and, you know, the demonstrations and they send out all these footages to the international community, international media. Many of the, the international media were able to use those footages, otherwise that they couldn't, ha they couldn't have even known of that took place except the Burmese. So that, and therefore, the whole world were able to see of what happened during the suffering from 2007. And like back in 1988, during our time, nobody knew, nobody saw it except us. So that de it definitely helped at the same time. Um, but, but on the other hand, um, because you know, you know, these are the technology before the military regime after the suffering revolution in 2007, they also learned very well that people use it so well by sending out all these information and images to the world that they couldn't stop. So for that, they also made their own preparation and we know so well with the technology assistance from China, they have upgraded their mechanisms, their um, communication technologies and all. So sometimes like, you know, like when you call, you, you know basically you know, during the time of any of demonstrations or any, any crisis, you, your, your phones are already jammed and your phones are already answered by Chinese language, you know, machine or whatever. And in that case, you know, you know. And um, in the country, people are able to communicate better than before, uh, particularly among the, the democracy activists, because you have like mobile phones that are now prepaid card phones. But of course, when the time comes, if there is any demonstration or such, it's going to be very sure that they will shut down all those, that, will be, that people will be left with no way to communicate, except our traditional way of communicating words by words, from mouth to mouth, you know? But I think we have to be prepared for that, and we are prepared for whatever means possible to make sure that information is out. We have so many journalists in the country who are more like undercover that, uh, you know, continue to send out the information to the exile media. And therefore, every day of what's happening in the country, if a political prisoner is sick today, we learn today or tomorrow. If there is a, a, a worker strike took place outside the Rangoon, now we already got the information in a few hours, you know, including the footages, for example. So there are you know, these advantages, definitely.